Virgo, happy December, happy holidays. I hope you're doing well. Okay, guys, just one announcement. Um, I'm not going to do mid-month Decembers, but what I am going to do, given everyone's time restraints, is for January, I'm going to do a year overview. Okay, so it'll be more in-depth. All right? I think we've all got a lot going on this last month, so... Um, just leave it at that. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Okay, but I think this reading today will, will pretty much get us through to the beginning of January. Okay? All right. I know some of you like to see the cards, so I'm doing my best. This is not my forte, I will tell you that, to figure all this out into the camera here, but I'm trying. So, let's see what we got here, okay? Okay, Virgo, the energy coming into December is the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, okay? The Four of Swords is travel. It's taking a break. It's vacation, okay? The Page of, of Coins is about um, new ideas, creative ventures, okay? About seeing things in a bigger way than the average person would. It's also about messages about money coming in, okay? It could be, you know, two changing jobs. You know, that's what it could be too, all right? All right, but it's the energy, so let's see where it goes, okay? All right. In the near past, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, all right, there's messages about money coming in here, and this is probably about a new job, okay? So something you're doing, something you're just getting off the ground is going to bring in financial gain. That's great, okay? So you did change jobs here is most likely what this is, okay? And now you've got a little bit of time off, so that's great. All right, in the present position... We have Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords is, again, about transformation. She's about communication. She's the master communicator, okay? And the Seven of Cups is about choices, making choices, all right? So you may have more than one job walker coming your way. You know, you may be trying to make more than one decision at a time. You may have a lot of decisions to make at one time. You know, you could just be also, the Seven of Cups sometimes is just reflecting back on the choices that you've made, you know, to go forward in a different direction. Has what you've done in the past helped or hindered you? How can you, you know, it's things like that. It's reassessment. But this card is about choosing for the long term, and the Queen of Swords would do that. She would choose wisely for the long term, okay? And she, she's very analytical. She'd get right to the matter of it all, okay? And it's doing it with a clear, clear mind, okay? Not from a place of panic. Okay. All right, the future position, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you've got the Peach of Coins, the Knight of Coins, and the Queen of Coins, okay? 
so you've taken a new job, it's gained financial stability, and now you're here. Okay, so this is this is huge. She's the uh, business owner, the entrepreneur, very very uh, financially secure. Okay, and the King of Cups comes in here. This could be something, you know, it could be the Knight of Cups, someone offering you, you know. you know, an emotional, it could be a friend, it could be, you know, this could be a relationship here, you know, an older uh, person and a, a younger person, okay, someone who's financially secure, um, someone, the, the Knight of Cups is someone that will, you know, they're a sweet talker, they'll, they'll, you know, give you poetry, however, you know, they're also someone, and God forbid, because I know I'm going to get emails about this, but it's, it's you know, it's someone who, you know, that's why I say make wise choices here. And make sure that what someone's telling you is, you know, is true. Because the Knight of Cups, he's very, you know, he's got all the great ideas. He'll bring you to dinner and all, but you'll be the one, you know, paying the check because he, he, he just doesn't, he's not very good with money. Okay, but he's a charmer, okay, but she knows better, I think, you know, anyway, that's in your future spot, okay, it could just be a friend helping you, you know, with your business, but I don't think you'd need it, okay, this is your advice and your focal going forward, okay, oh, the eight of coins, okay, working diligently, not taking any shortcuts, really putting your time and effort into what you're doing, okay. There's a lot of money cards in here, so this is this is definitely, I'm going to say, a business. You know, it could be a family business, you know, but there's a lot of messages, a lot of new ideas, a lot of money coming in. Um, okay, and the page of swords, you know, he's... He again, you know, it, it's it's messages that, that might not have a lovely delivery, right? But it's the content that's important. Be very careful with this card, though. Make sure that, again, what you're getting is what you see, okay? Both of the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, they would not... Uh, normally be taken, you know, for a ride. But I'm just going to say here, this is quite the lineup, okay? Given that, you know, the Queen of Swords shows up with the Seven of Cups, you're going to make a, a, a wise choice. Her BS radar is, is on point all the time, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, too. Don't, uh, she's a very lovely person. You know, but she's also very smart. She's grounded in what she is. She likes her lifestyle. She likes the lavish things in life. She's not going to be, you know, she's not going to chance losing that for this, you know. If that, in fact, is, you know, a romance. It's someone younger and someone who's not financially secure. I hardly see she, do, she would do that, okay? And this, again, watch, you know, Make sure that if you're going into business with someone, make sure you know who that person is. This page of swords here, you know, this is someone who can whip through your life and, and then you're starting from bare bones again, okay? Be very, very diligent. Okay. In your environment, Okay, you've got the Four of Coins and the Ten of Cups. Okay. The Ten of, the ten of Cups, I'm going to say here, okay, sometimes that's for appearance sakes, and it's not really how things are on the inside. Sometimes there's boredom. Sometimes, you know what, though? Sometimes there's absolutely nothing wrong. It's just we're not used to nothing being wrong. So it's it's a it's a not a, a great comfort zone, okay? But in this moment, everything is good, 
okay, in the moment. But it's a good time when things are good to reassess, you know, where do you see this going from here? Where, you know, long-term choices, okay? It's also a card just of taking a step back, too, you know? There's an arrogance, though, to the card in this deck, okay? He's not wanting to hear other people's points of view. You know, he's kind of closed off in some way. So um, I'm going to say again, know the people in your surroundings, okay? This is in your, your environment, or it's very soon going to be coming in here, okay? If someone's asking you to borrow money, again, make sure that you know them and make sure that, that you can do it because the odds of it being repaid are slim, okay? If it's someone you're going into business with or thinking about going into business with, make sure that you check the finances securely, okay? Because I just have a funny feeling here that someone does not have the financial backing they're presenting themselves to have. Or the plan wasn't as thought through thoroughly, or there's something missing here, okay? All right, your hopes and fears, okay. You've got the death card and the eight of swords. Okay, something is up in the air still. You know, there are things working behind the scenes in both of these cards. Okay, it could be a lot of communication coming in. Okay, but whatever it is, puts an end to something else. Okay, you've got to let something go to let something else come in. This is usually communication, someone telling you how they feel. Okay. Again, you know, make sure that you know what's, you know, being told to you here, okay? This is the natural order of things, too, okay? If, if communication is coming in and it's not to your liking, because there's, like I said, there's a little bit of hostility sprinkled through this reading, okay? I think you may have to make a decision. It could be even about a move, but you're going to you may have to make it quick, okay? But you'll know what to do. This is divine timing too, okay? All right, that's in your hopes and fears. I'm going to look this over at the end, so don't panic, guys. I'm just going through so you can see the cards. Okay. And your outbound card here, you've got the Eight of Swords and the Four of Coins. Okay, it's hanging on to your money. Okay, feeling like you're stuck. I don't look at this card as hoarding. I look at it as you've got to watch your spending. And I think I said that earlier in this reading. But there's something surrounding money in here. This reading is getting out in enough time that if this is what's happening... Okay, you're going to want to hang on to your money because there's someone in your environment who's about to take you for a ride. Okay. They're a younger, smooth talking, you know, promising you everything from A to Z. And I'm telling you, they're not going to deliver. They don't have the means to deliver. Okay, so just, just watch yourself. This is in your hopes and fears. If you've already got an inkling that something isn't right here, go with that. Okay, it's a valid... It, it's a valid assessment. All right. If we didn't have two pages and two knights in here, okay, those are allies, alliances. They're also enemies, okay? They're also very young energies. It may not be deliberate, uh, it's just naivete, too, sometimes, okay? They, they really think that the world works like this, but they don't have enough life experience under their belt, or they just live in a fantasy land. That could be it, too. This is, you know, it is a card of illusion and delusion sometimes. You know, there are people that really just live in their head. And unless you can anchor something, it's just a daydream, okay? 
but these cards are they're like yin and yang they're very balanced here with counterparts all right you could be delusional but she would see right through it okay you could you know sweet talk her but she'd see right through it okay this is your your advice going forward okay watch what you've built here okay it's not you don't get to the eight overnight this is probably your financial security here watch out for this this is you know all of your worst nightmares rolled into one here if it's a person trying to sweet talk you okay this is the one they'll steamroll through your life and and you won't even see the carnage until you know the car is gone and you you know there you have it so your advice is to just watch your money right now okay watch your security watch your home watch the things of value that you've worked very hard for this person has no idea how to, to, to just just be very careful okay with your your finances okay yeah there's just an air through here of one person really appreciating life and knowing the value in it okay hence the queen of swords and the queen of, of coins they both you know, neither have had a, a, an easy life, okay? They've gone through the knocks in life, and that's why, you know, they're not only educated, they're knowledgeable. So wisdom and knowledge, okay? But you can still, you're human, you can be, you know, sometimes taken for a ride, okay? But this is just communication that's coming in that is clearly, it might not be true, okay? So you've got to cut whoever this is loose here okay. and again this is your outbound okay watch your money right now okay sometimes I say that this eight of swords yeah it is through our own doing but sometimes we really get ourselves in jams and we're like oh fudge now what you know watch your finances really you've worked very hard for it and I don't agree like I said that this is a miser card you know, it's just not. When you can give, of course you give, you know, but there are times too where you've really just got to sock it away, you know, and you've really got to be diligent, you know. You should hang on to the things that you've worked very hard for. This is not just finances too. This could be your home. This could be anything that you value, you know, your time, your energy. Maybe someone is really sucking the life out of you. Don't allow it. Okay? Four is about balance. Okay. I think there's just a very... Uh, there's just a... There's, there's a I'm going to pull some clarifiers here. I'm just not... I, this is... I, I'm just not... Bear with me one second, guys. I really wanted these to be quick. I know everyone's time is... Okay. Temperance, the Queen of Coins. I'm sorry. Temperance, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Wands are clarifying your energy coming in. Okay. So the Queen of Cups, again. So now we've got three queens in here. Again, very smart cookie. She's divinely connected here. Okay. But she's also she can be very uh you know kind of in la la land sometimes not paying attention okay pay attention you've got the eight of wands here okay and you've got the temperance card you know you're trying to balance here your emotions and your you know your physical life it's not about patience as much as it is balance. I think someone is really just sucking you dry here, okay? The Eight of Wands, you've got this in your hopes and fears, okay? With the Death card. Temperance comes after the death when you're trying to put your life back together. Pay attention, okay?
employee. All right. The choice that you're trying to make here, I think, is between people. Okay? Because you've got, as your clarifiers, you've got the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Okay? You're having to defend yourself on something. Like I said, oop, where's this camera? Like I said, you know, you've got the, trying to, to find inner peace here. Okay? Heartbreak. Something not going how you had anticipated. That's why I say I called this the BS card in this this is your environment. Things are not always as they appear, okay? And you've got the seven of wands here, being on the defensive, having to defend something, okay? That's clearly, I think, what you're doing here on your outbound is you're, you're you know, having to defend what's yours, and you shouldn't have to do that, okay? I just want to clarify your future position with the Knight of Cups here and this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Page of Coins. All right, we've got the Page of Coins on the, in, the energy coming in. We've got the Ten of Cups here in your environment, okay? And you've got the Five of Wands. It's another card of reassessment, okay? It's a card, are you on the, you know, it's an unknown journey, okay? And this that's very certain here. I think that this can really shake up the apple cart, okay? I don't think that this person really has all the financial wherewithal to, to to go into business with you if that's what you're trying to do. This person could also be, you know, taking a lot of money from you. That could be too, and you're going to have to stick up for yourself here, okay? Again, don't forget, we're clarifying this, you know? We all want happy homes, right? The Ten of Cups, the Knight of, of you know, your Knight in Shining Armor coming. <laughs> it can very easily end up looking like this, okay? You've got to be on the ball here, okay? All right, one more, guys. Hang on. I want to see what that eight, your hopes and fears, I want to see what that eight of swords and the death, eight of wands, I'm sorry, and the death card is about. All right, the Ten of Coins, the Queen of Pentacles, oy, and the Six of Wands. Watch your money. Watch your money. You know what? Um, the Six of Wands here, that's the victory. Okay, that's being heard. That's sticking up for yourself. That's, you know pulling yourself out of this, all right? No, just say no, enough, okay? There you go. Because this card too here, these are the energies coming in. This four of, of wands is someone who's exhausted, beyond exhausted, and this energy coming at you consistently would suck the life right out of you. You would end up looking like this, and your bank account would be just as barren, okay? All right. I hope that I've helped you in some way. Okay. Happy holidays again. And if you need a personal reading, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Okay. Thank you so much.